to Kev Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up. Tailor to your brand or business and optimize for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all in your terms. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's start the show. Hezekiah Walker! Yo! What's happening? Um... Shit, I just told you we're moving, and uh, my wife is doing a whole move. Damn, one Trump interview and it's time to go. And you it's get time, the fuck it's out time to get out of here. I, you know, I gotta go to the battleground. They on you like that? I'm already? going to Michigan. You're going to Michigan. I'm going to Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm going to Stump. Michigan, Pennsylvania. What's, What's the, the other, other one? Ohio states? is that one? Uh, Wisconsin, Florida, or Wisconsin, uh, Arizona, Georgia, Florida. Nevada, and North Carolina. Florida, baby. Florida is not going to be not a problem. A ba- it's Let me tell you, state? Florida is not going to be a problem. Florida is not going to nah, be a problem. Nah, nah, Florida not going to be a Florida so, Trump country. Trump might fuck around and win New York. <laughs> nah. He's doing, he's doing, uh, he's doing MSG. He can't, he can't win, but he'll do better than any other Republican. Than he did before. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, you know who did good in New York as a Republican? Fucking uh, Lee Zeldin. You're not going to, you're not going to catch me? And you're not... That's not a joke. No, 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 no. Lee nah. Zeldin ran for governor in New York. You're, we had him on Breakfast you're Club. You're never going to catch me. I'm not even joking, man. You're never going to catch me. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah hey, I'm, I'm hey, not... I'm, I'm, you know, I'm you know, That's a real representative. I'm not joking. <laughs> you that's never a real... Is he a real person? <laughs> Lee <laughs> Zeldin. <laughs> yes, he ran for governor in New York. Man, you're never going to catch me. Let me see how much percentage Not even all three of you ganging up on me are going to catch me with Lee Zeldin. How many percent? Lee Zeldin. Lee Zeldin. Hold on. Let me see how much he ran. You know, He's real. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he ran for governor in New York. In and he, 20th, was a, he was Republican? He got 47% of the vote. While Kathy Hochul got 53%. Oh. And, and it said Delta's performance was notably strong for a Republican in a predominantly but Democratic state. New Yorkers don't care about governor. The governor is not a real position in New York. It's mayor of New York is the governor. And then that's it. <laughs> like, whoever's the mayor of New York City, you're the governor of New York. Really, you're the vice president almost of That kind of makes a little bit of sense. But Cuomo, though. Cuomo made his mark, bro. He Cuomo did. was very New Yorkish, bro. Cuomo. What? Why are you man? doing this? Man? He, what? he was you New York. He was. Wait, which Cuomo? Uh, Mario. Mario. Mario no, was the pop. Whoever was the governor. Yes, Andrew. 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 But Mario Cuomo was the OG, and he was mayor. I don't know Mario Cuomo. Mario Cuomo was yeah. the original. Uh, I, I didn't know so that. his yeah, they're like a uh, political dynasty family. Really? Yeah, yeah. So Mario Cuomo was, I think, the mayor of New York. He was. Yep. Then did he become governor? I don't Go- know. Governor, governor of New York is something you do like as part of your retirement. Like if you've been mayor, they let you be governor <laughs> as like uh, okay, just go look over that. That's really how New Yorkers look at it. Well, you know, Andrew's been talking about running for mayor in New York. He said if if they get Eric Adams up out of here. That's what he's going to do. That is, that, yeah. That would feel like a demotion, but I guess not. It no, is New York come, motherfucking come, nah. city. Come get a real job. I don't know, man. Best man in New York ever was motherfucking uh, Commissioner Gordon. You know Commissioner Gordon was fire. Yeah. Gordon Bloomberg was fire. was fire, too, putting his own bread up. Bloomberg like was that. fire. We Bloomberg like was fire. Bloomberg was fire. You got to have your own money to be the mayor of New York. Otherwise, you're going to get bribed for 100 grand. Damn. That was the saddest part of that Mayor Adams shit. Damn. 100K? 100,000, man. Nah, bro. You can't shit. go out sad like that for a first class fight on Turkish Yo, Airlines. He's tucking his, he, he holding his nuts, though. What you mean? He 10 toes down, holding his nuts. Mayor Adams ain't going nowhere. Oh, you don't think he's. He hasn't gone yet, and, and, and Governor Hochul says she's not going to push him out. As really? Of right now. Yeah. What's Governor Hochul look like? Uh, I interviewed her before. I think I get her and Gretchen Whitmer confused. Nah, 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 nah. Big Gretchen's, nah, Big Gretchen's much younger than Kathy Hochul, right? Big Gretchen's like 45? Big yeah, Gretchen. Yeah, yeah. Gretchen's younger than Hochul. It's Hochul. That's yeah. Governor Shout Hochul. Out. How old is Governor Hochul? Uh, but, but, but. What happened to the blind guy? We let a blind guy be governor. That's how Dang, you know uh, it's I know not you're a talking real... about. I interviewed I, when he was on Wendy's show. I interviewed him. Did he know who you were? 
why did they bring him to the studio? Like, I feel like that's a Zoom call, right? Like, I don't know. If this you was need... before Zoom. Oh, that was before Zoom. It was like 06, 07. Yeah, you let him take those from the office. <laughs> My point is that that's the type of position. Like, you just let the blind guy do it. Like, it's not a real. Yeah, Hulk 66. Yeah, Shout what was how much? 50? 40 something, 50? Anyway. Up real quick. We moved Wait, apartments. No, 53. Okay. We moved apartments yesterday, and uh, my wife did the whole move. God bless her. And then uh, she, there was like the paint was drying, and she didn't like the smell. And obviously, we got a little baby. She's like, "No, nah, we can't do this. We got to go back to our other apartment with nothing in it, no beds, nothing." So I just haven't slept in two days. Oh, so you just wired? That's the, the yeah. So, what did you do for the Trump interview? You well, this was before I had a bed before the Trump interview. Oh, and then you shit. did interview Trump once. They take your your your, your bed. Damn. <laughs> they take your blankets. <laughs> They take everything from you. It's This is one interview. They took everything from me, how, Taylor. Could how, you believe? How's the feedback been? Yo, Taylor was so excited. She hit me. She was like, oh, my God. You interviewed <laughs> Unk. She goes, you interviewed Unk. You called a white man Unk? You are That's crazy. Why do y'all lie? Crazy. God watches y'all. That's what you no. said, That's what you said when you walked in. She like said, she said, I see you with Unk. That's crazy, yo. You did say I that. I said, hey, Trumper. No, you didn't. No. <laughs> hey, Trumper. Like, what are you, you said, talking I see, about? Yo, I see you hey, with Trump. Trump. You did say that. Be honest, you did say that. Trump is crazy. You got some crackers in you, Trump and that shit like comes out when you... That, what? Like a fracker. Fracking? Trumping. <laughs> Trumping and fragging? <laughs> you are very close to another I know. one. I know, it sounds bad. Yeah. I thought you put an ER on the F word. I was like, nah, that's, nah, nah, that's nah. one of the strongest hateful terms. I would never say fraggle maggot. <laughs> I would never use that word. Uh, so, I mean, we're just we're just so close. I know we're just on the edge today. <laughs> we're just on the edge, Taylor. Come on, Taylor. You called him Unk. I couldn't believe that. You called him Unk. That's wild that y'all are lying. How's the feedback, man? Wait, feed you got a white one too. Aren't you supposed to be like a virgin? What, what were you saying last what week? What the fuck is I on am your a virgin. Legs. I am a virgin. <laughs> what is that? I told you I had to make this is my blanket. Trust. I had money. to sleep in it. Shows the rich as fuck. So, what okay. the fuck? I've never even seen that. All right, next time we we'll got call. quilt pants. <laughs> I knew you was gonna come as the black team, so I came as the white team. Wildin', 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 wildin'. Come How's on. the feedback been though? Um, do you want me to do it as a song? Okay. Okay. In the family reunion, <laughs> ain't gonna be no Mexicans. Ain't gonna be no Mexicans. <laughs> 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 no, the funniest shit about about the interview is like uh, this, this. This is the funniest shit. Is that like both sides were using the same clips to promote? their narratives mm. so like for example uh trump did this thing about how he doesn't ramble he weaves yep and kamala's headquarters saw the thing on the video and they're like yo make a video out of that look how ridiculous this is but then trump's team is also like yo make a video out of that that shit is fire so the same piece of content was used to support the candidate and to try to trash the candidate. Was interesting, yeah, because yeah, I mean, the, le the left would use something like that to say, "Look, he rambles and he knows he's doing it. He's doing it on purpose. He's an unserious person." But then the right probably uses it to say, "Look at his sense of humor. Exactly, he's humanizing him." Yeah. Okay, I get it. I understand. I didn't get any of those yet, and I'm sure it's time. But like, oh, he's humanizing, whatever. Like, but I just thought. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It, nah, I got it. I feel, <laughs> they, they, they all came for Oh, Alex. you a sellout, Alex. It's over for you. I feel, I feel, <laughs> it's over. Man, you might, it's, it's over. It's Al was serious the whole interview. Trump turned and said, you got some good hair on you. And Al immediately was like, oh, thanks, Mr. President. No, no, no. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That's he not said, true. He said, nah, nah. he said, thanks, Unk. He hit him with an Unk as well. Come on, son. You called him Unk? Come you on. did. Like, come on. Because it's interesting, right? Because I saw. To be lied to, come right? on. Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. You don't know how much of this is real or not. Like I saw Alice Cooper. She had Vice President Kamala Harris on, and they say she was losing followers, and they say people were upset with her, and she had a yeah, backlash. Feedback yada, yada, yada. wasn't great on that one. I don't know how true. I mean, but okay, is it the fact that people are really upset that? She just interviewed the vice president. Yeah. So it's like the people on the right. Is her does her audience have that many conservatives that they're just that? I disgusted? think she didn't know her audience. I didn't, I think she doesn't, maybe she didn't know exactly what her audience was too. I and apparently like she was like cop and please in the beginning before the interview even started. No, but just these candidates are divisive. No, no, I, I lost about five hundred. The candidates and I have a fraction of what she right. yeah. No, no, the candidates are You lost followers? Yeah. For his outfits. 
<laughs> no, as soon as, as soon as the episode they, came out, once I posted anything, a clip from the episode, just started <sighs> dropping, just like Flash. Yep. How do I feel really? about this? I yeah. feel like I feel like the audience has to grow up. Yes, on dude. both sides. Oh my because god! Because like, Alex Cooper should be able to interview the vice president. You gonna say no to the vice president? Like, uh, sorry to cut you. All right, you finish your no, point because no, I got yeah, like, yeah. like the Alex Cooper should be able to interview the vice president, and she should be able to interview Trump. These are the two people running for president Yo. of the United States of America. So, so it's, it, I mean, like, one, I couldn't agree with you more. When we put out the interview, there was conversations. You know, Dove was like, hey, do you want to do a thing where you say, like, in the beginning of this, like, you've reached out to the Kamala team? to, And I'm like, why are we asking for forgiveness? Like, why are we explaining ourselves? Like, I don't have to explain myself to want to have a conversation with the Republican nominee for, for president, president who was already president. Just like I don't got to explain myself if I want to sit down with Kamala, who is the VP and sure. running for president. Like, you are, in my opinion, if you really actually... One, you care about, let's say you're a very political person and you care about your country and both candidates are around 50-50. Wouldn't you want to have the opportunity to sit down with both of them and tell them what you feel about, what's important to you? And not on some like, hey, I'm going to do a gotcha interview so I could get clout and views, but on a true like, hey, are you listening to me? Like, these are the things I actually care about. Yeah. This is why I care about yeah. it. And then telling them in a way that they might have, like, empathy and consideration, even if they disagree and they might think about it. Like, I think that's a, the responsible thing to do. But I just do you. Like, here's the thing. I saw Bethany Frankel, right? And salute to Bethany. We can add this clip. Shout out, Bethany. I saw her going off about how, uh, and you know, Bethany, I don't know if y'all know, Bethany is the reason that we call this podcast the Brilliant. Yeah. 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 You, know, okay. you know, I was hanging out with her in the Hamptons. I saw that. And I told her. What did she say? Did she remember that? She did. Okay, okay. But, but Bethany was saying how nobody, like, uh, uh, people don't care about what celebrities think about candidates, right? A lot of talk about Kamala doing call her daddy. Amazing move by Alex Cooper. She would have interviewed both candidates, so this is not a political commentary or association. Um, Kamala did it. Trump didn't. Interesting because Trump did Theo Vaughn and Logan Paul and not this podcast, so we can't say... We can't have a double standard and say she shouldn't, you know, do the Cool Kids podcast because he did the Cool Kids podcast. But she did the Cool Kids podcast right now, coming around the far turn, when we have one of the world's worst hurricanes where the death toll is not accurate, where another Category 5 is coming in and going to pummel through Florida, where there are wars going on all over the world, people losing their families, losing their homes. And at this time, she did this particular podcast, you know which is giving a little bit pick me. And I think that candidates overestimate the association with celebrity. It happened with Hillary Clinton. It was Jay-Z, Beyonce. The day before it was Kris Jenner. It was Katy Perry. It was John Bon Jovi on the bus. I think it turns people off because I think that the average person who can't afford to eat or um, has a family that lost their home or has a family who's at war, they do not care who celebrities associate with or vote with. And I think that Taylor Swift moves a needle on, you know, get out and vote, which is great. But I don't think, I actually think it's, it backfires and it's a deterrent to want to, you know, to associate with celebrity. I, I think it's a turnoff to, to the, the general public and the, the, the average voter. Now, I also think like Kamala could be humanizing herself on there, but it's Trump who would have really humanized himself there in the same way his granddaughter got up at the RNC to like talk about the snacks he gives, etc. Her being human there is selling past the point of yes. No one's questioning her being a human being, her humanity. People are questioning her experience and her international, you know, her foreign policy. And what if we go to war? They're not questioning her female reproductive rights. That's not at question. So it's like, I don't think she sucked the landing. And it is a little bit pick me. Um, and I do think the timing of it is, it, it, it was risky. It's about, this is not about a political association or who you're voting for. This is about, was this a good business marketing and messaging decision at this time right now? Alex did well. Good for her for getting it. It's about, was it a good Kamala decision? I'm in her shoes. I wouldn't have done it right now. No way. Also, it's a very electric, charismatic podcast. Like, it's for cool kids, right? You're on there and, you know, it's banter and you're going. Now, obviously, Alex had a different interview style here and different questions. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but I don't, I think that people do connect with candidates and that charisma and electricity is something people do subconsciously connect to. And I think in this environment, it just 
didn't seem like a, a fit. It seemed a little awkward and it made her seem sort of less cool than she may actually be. If she were in a hard hitting interview, that would be sort of more interesting. Like it's more interesting to see her when she's like sticking the landing in a debate than sitting in that chair and being like, I want to hang out with the cool kids and get them to like me. It just, I don't think it landed. And I agree. I really truly do agree. I mean, you might have some people who are influenced by what celebrities think and who celebrities might vote for, but I think she had it a little bit wrong because she was trying to say that nobody cares what Alex Cooper thinks about the vice president. That's why I disagree and I push back and I'll tell you why. Alex Cooper isn't your typical celebrity. She's a celebrity who built a platform. She's media. Whether you like her or yeah. not, yeah. flavoring is media, yeah. whether you want it to be or not. So when you see a Donald Trump or a Vice President Kamala Harris and they go to 60 Minutes, which Trump didn't do what Kamala did, or they go to Meet the Press or whatever, any of those serious platforms, yeah. when they go to an Alex Cooper or when they go to a flagrant, they're just going where the audience is. They're meeting people where they are. You want to know some crazy shit? You, you want to know why he didn't do 60 Minutes? Why? So he could do flagrant? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's what he told me afterwards. He's like, hey, I canceled 60 Minutes to do this. Get the fuck. He Sweet. lied. No, that's one of those times where he, he said he basically li tells the truth. That yeah, was he, he, was basically, <laughs> he was basically telling me the truth yeah, about yeah, that. He, <laughs> no, he's basically like, listen, like we wanted them to apologize for running with the Russian, the Russia hoax. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, uh, and, you know, they had to apologize for that or they had to, you know, I think there was something they won a Pulitzer Prize or something like that for it and they weren't willing to give it back. I, I don't know, something. But he was like, this what? time slot was for 60 Minutes and, you know, it was a side to you. Yeah, I thought and he said that he didn't want to do 60 Minutes because well, I thought I saw somebody say that they didn't really make a formal invite. No, they invited him. He, they just wanted an apology. The Trump can't want an apology because I think they won some prize for running with the Russia hoax. Really? Yeah. That was the one thing that I wanted to ask him that we didn't get to ask him. Actually, there's a few things that I wanted to ask him. What else did you want to ask him? I just like the Russia hoax. They were saying that he was peeing on these Russian women. I can't. Uh, now, come on. Now, that's what I expect flagrant. To oh, ask no, him I about. had it. I had it. OK, but what I wanted to ask was, did you have to tell your family you weren't? Like, did you have to have a sit down with your family and be like, guys, <laughs> I'm not peeing on Svetlana's yes, in Moscow. Yeah, there's no like, video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, because they lie. <laughs> it, they're going to lie about you. They're going to say things about you. I'm sure Kamala has to go through this as well, which they're going to say things. And then she might have to tell her husband and her kid. Like, they're going to have to tell their families the truth. Yeah. And sometimes that means saying you didn't urinate on Russian women. <laughs> and that's just what I want to know, like, what that conversation is. But, uh. It's out of here, right? What's that? Uh, no. I got you. All right. Yeah, man, I don't have a problem with it. I knew that y'all was going to get, uh, you know, uh, uh, negative feedback. I know, or backlash, because I saw that happen with Alex. Alex Cooper, But I right? haven't but, felt, I haven't felt any real backlash. you don't give a fuck. I also don't give a fuck. But, <laughs> exactly. And like, but, we've, we've gotten some backlash. Just not at this level, no, but we've like, gotten backlash. The, 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 the main reaction, like, the... The backlash that uh, that Cooper got immediately was like a tidal wave. Like if you bring that interview up with even people who are uh, casuals, they'll go, "Oh yeah, there was a lot of backlash around it." I wonder if she was shocked. Maybe. I also, like she didn't know. Meaning she didn't know her audience was so wildly conservative. But also, I don't know if that's her audience. I think a lot of that shit is just social media, bro. I think I think there's a lot of it social media. I think. I think it's her audience. Hmm? I think it's her audience because she's not a political show. Like she never has politicians on the show. So what were they mad so, at? Were they mad that she had the mm -hmm. vice president on? Mad that she. It, so it wasn't it, like it wasn't it wasn't a conservative audience mad that they just had Kamala. On. Half the audience is mad that she even had a politician in general because she's like, "Yo, keep this show fun. We don't do that." And then the other half is just like mad that she's. It looks like she's picking a side by having Kamala on. I mean. That's why she was copping pleased in the yeah. beginning. It's like, you don't need an excuse to interview a presidential nominee. Yeah. None. Nope. Like, none. You should absolutely none. do one, you should do it's validating. I'm not gonna lie, like us starting a little podcast and then having a president want to come yeah. on the podcast yeah. is a massively validating yeah. moment. Absolutely. And the thing about the vice president going on call her daddy, right? We do know Caller Daddy is the number one podcast for women. Yeah. Like literally. Right. Like like I'm this is a statistical fact. The number one rated podcast amongst women who has the most women demo is 
Call Her Daddy podcast. Yeah. If you want to go anywhere to have a conversation about reproductive rights yeah. and reproductive rights being on, under attack, if you want to go yeah. somewhere and talk about abortion, like that would be the perfect place oh, yeah. to smart go. Smart Very smart Kamala. move. I love, listen, I love all the media moves. Trump has been doing it. Yeah. Um, I think he stepped it up a lot over the last year by going to a lot of these non-traditional non platforms. Even though I hate using that word, non-traditional, because this is the tradition now. This like, is relevant. But, yeah. the, but this is actually the tradition yeah. now. Like, yeah. no, the tradition right. is TV and radio, right? But yeah. podcasting is... It's part of it. It's legacy at this point. This ain't a niche thing anymore. Like, yeah. it's not. So for him to go to Logan Paul, for him to go to Theo Vaughn, for him to go to Flagrant, that makes sense to me. Yeah. For her to go to All the Smoke, for her to go to Call Her Daddy, you know, uh, I don't, I haven't seen any other podcasts, but it makes sense to go I to actually, those places. I actually think what would make the most sense for Kamala would be doing male-centric podcasts. Oh, I think yeah. she's going to win women easy. Absolutely. I think you need to do Breakfast Club. I think you need, well, actually, Breakfast Club is probably female. What's your numbers? Uh, we know, well... It's, it's actually pretty balanced. So like yeah. But Bref Breakfast Club, I think that, like, she should be on fucking Pat McAfee. Like, she should be on... Rogan! Rogan! She should be on Flagrant. She should be on these platforms that she doesn't already have the 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 people that in the bag in terms of the voters. That's right. You know? Um, yeah, I, I think. Also, like, not so forced. Like, with all due respect for Colbert, like it just seems like such a puff piece. It just see it or what is it called? A puff piece or a fluff piece or whatever like that? Stop drinking beers too. Talk to me. What's the deal? She they drink, drink a beer. I'm, I'm tired of seeing presidents drink beer. Take a gun out. <laughs> no. <laughs> take a gun out. Put your gun on the table. So she says she got a Glock on 60 minutes. No, take a shot of liquor. Do that. Or do an edible. Yes. Do something like get loose. She can't do an edible. Yeah. After, How after I, locking but, up all the weed, dude, she can't do an yeah. edible. Beer? But even they the beer right. makes her more relatable than Trump because Trump doesn't drink. Oh, Trump he don't doesn't? drink? No. So he just retarded. He just a so, wild boy. Let, let me tell you something. What you mean? That, what that, you mean? That, don't that tell dude, me that. That dude is just pure entertainment. You're just sitting there. You do not know the next word that's going to come out of his mouth. And you try to guess. And every time you try to guess, you are wrong. And every time he starts, it's funnier than the last time. And he could key in. Like, when he sees you kind of laugh at some shit that he don't even know it's funny yet, he, like, clocks it. And then he'll keep, yeah. like he started calling the doctors that saved the lives of the shoot, the people who got shot in Butler. Uh, he was like, these country doctors. It was a celebration of a life and it was really a mega, it was a mega deal. Yeah. He was a big mega person. His family was there and mm -hmm. two other people that were very badly hurt were also celebrated. Yeah. They were very badly hurt. They weren't actually expected to live Yeah, oh, and wow. they live and uh, they had incredible doctors some of those country doctors are better than the big doctors that we spend a lot of money on and they don't do as good i will tell you right now i don't want to knock anybody but those country doctors saved two people because i was told that three would, no think of that three would be in trouble and three yeah. were going to now Corey immediately but the other two were so bad that they thought yeah. they wouldn't make it yeah and uh, those country doctors, they pulled them, they pulled them together. <laughs> they, they did a great job. And I said, I said, what? He goes, these country doctors. And he kept hitting country oh, doctors. Pennsylvania's country to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than if these it ain't Philly is country. It's, if it ain't Philly, it's country as shit. I'm not gonna lie, man. She needs an interview where she's loose. I I think she, it, she's looking too protected right now. It's looking too polished, and it well, needs to I, be I, fun. Well. The difference, here's the thing, man. Even with even with Obama, Obama looks polished and buttoned up but compared to Trump. But you know why? He's a better, he's a, he, uh, Obama's a better politician than But Trump's than not a politician. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, he's not a politician. So next to him, next to him, she seems so buttoned up. That moment on Oprah where she says, you come into my house, you're getting shot, was the least buttoned up she seemed. The moment and on Oprah, the heckler thing in Michigan, uh, when she told Trump, uh, Putin will eat your lunch. The, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. It's like, yo, <laughs> be if that's you. That's what that's, she is. So then be it. Yeah. Go it's, out on your sword. I think it's hard. Right? Like, I, I think she can, no, I know she can do it because we're seeing glimpses of it. But, but the, I think it's hard because they, they, she's been a politician for so long. It's that. And also, once you taste victory, you're like, let me not fuck this up. I think playing it too safe can, can fuck it up. Yeah. It's prevent defense. But also, just think about every single word that comes out of their mouth is a headline. Who like, cares? Trump I, went on our podcast. I was like, 
10 different headlines came from the podcast. People are taking the same line and observing it two different ways. So it's like, if you think but, about that, it's crazy. But the, but the powerful thing that I always say is, actually, we always say this shit is just about humor in general. You can say some wild shit. If it makes people laugh, it disarms them completely. Trump had that line on the pod where he goes, uh, he goes, uh, he goes, you know, they lie about me all the time. It's hard for me to do that to them. You know, he's like, I'm basically truthful. Yeah. I have a hard time doing it to them mm -hmm. because I'm basically, you know, I'm basically a truthful person. But, and, <laughs> and frankly, like, no, but frankly, <laughs> no, but frankly, uh, <laughs> and it was so funny. They're trying to use it against him, but even you are kind of laughing right now. It's so funny that it just disarms you. Listen, and that, I had a young black guy, man, 20 something years old. I'm not gonna say his name. Mm. I should say his name. He comes to me this morning, he turns to me, he goes, Flavors won't get Trump elected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would know who I'm talking about. You were there? No, was but I know exactly who you're talking he goes, about. He goes, bro, Flavors gonna get Trump the elected. The interview was fire, bro. The interview, I, and listen, <laughs> it, the interview was fire. I don't know what to tell you. So, Alex, it's over for you, bro. What you might as well, like, it's over. Do y'all ask who his favorite black person is? Yes. Who is it? I asked who his favorite African American, uh, African -American was. What? And he said Elon Musk. Get the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I said... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get to watch this. I didn't get to watch this. Yeah. I, said, I said, is Elon Musk your favorite African-American? Oh. And what do you think? He, he just laughs. laughs. It, but that's the thing. He's, he's loose. He's having fun with it. Uh -huh. I mean, there's a moment... I mean, there's so many moments where he's just having fun, and that is infectious. He's talking about Elon landing a rocket. He's like, they, I'm watching the rocket lands on the thing. And I'm, and I'm like, and my wife came in parallel park. And he goes, and then he laughs. He goes, eh, most women can't. Hilarious. Listen, Trump, Trump. Any just, other politician would be like, oh, if I say it's going to be a million different headlines and my career is done. Trump, but Trump has less pressure, though. Yeah. He has less pressure because he's already been president. And he's already he's said already, so already much said, wild shit. That's right? what I'm saying. He, like, has, he, he has, He's already said the wild shit. He's already lost. He's already lost. So he, un yeah. he knows what that experience is. Yeah. Kamala hasn't lost. Well, I guess she lost in primaries, but she hasn't lost running for president. And her whole team is like, you're going to win. The whole It feels, if you go online, like, you're this is going to happen. So she's like, I, I, let yeah. me not fuck this up. That's not that's not a good way to do That is a no, horrible that's way. That's not, because I, I, I don't, there's nothing about the poll numbers that we're seeing right now that should make anybody feel like she got this in Remember those poll numbers with Hillary? I remember those poll numbers with Hillary? And I keep telling people this campaign feels more Hillary-ish than it does Obama-ish, Obama 08-ish. But I will say the one thing that I see her doing that Hillary wasn't doing, she is not playing around in those battleground states. Like, she's in she's Wisconsin, she's in Michigan, she's in Pennsylvania, she is not playing around. She's in North Carolina, she's not playing around in those battleground states. Hillary didn't go to Wisconsin at all. Uh, she, 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 bothered, she didn't even bother to go to Wisconsin at all. I, I agree with you on that, but I think that nothing will be more powerful than her showing the side of herself that you always talk about. You always say, just be yourself. She's cool. She's funny, whatever. And we rarely get to see that in these long form interviews. And she cares. Okay. That side, like even in the Howard Stern one, like, I don't know, like, what is the feedback from that? Like, oh, I, she's been getting good feedback. Howard's been, uh, oh, Howard's yeah, I, getting, I ain't even talking about Howard. Howard's been getting killed. killed. Oh, really? Killed. Oh, I, killed. But you know, Howard's at that space. It's like, Howard was so much Howard in his heyday. Like the way Howard became Howard, people be shitting on Howard for 20 years just because he's not that same person no more. Mm. Like yeah. as, if, as if he's not supposed to grow up. Mm. No, he's you're, 70 you're, years old, right? You're totally allowed to grow up, 100%. And that is the nature of most people in general. Mm. They're doing wild stuff to get on and then they start to become a little bit more passive and then maybe find a new art and new skill. And he did that even with his interviewing, 100%. But he got to know that if he's upset and another dude being wild, people are going to be like, remember when you would have yeah, chicks yeah, sit, yeah, sit on a yeah, speaker yeah, yeah. and they would come on radio? Like, yeah. I think that's the difference between Howard and, uh, I don't know if Alex endorsed him. I don't I don't know if Alex Cooper endorsed the vice president. I'm not sure. I didn't know. Oh, he was just going hard. He's oh, like, he, but he always goes hard on Trump. So he was, he's, he's, he's sitting with the vice president, Kamala Harris, and shitting on Trump. Oh. So of MAGA, they coming. MAGA coming. But that's why, like, if, I don't know, if you are talking to, Kamala, let's say, for example. I don't think that you're turning it into this puff piece. No. Right? I imagine 
that you're going to ask the questions that you're curious about. You're not just going to go, hey, what are the talking points that the party wants me to ask? Okay, yeah. let's do it. And everybody sees this like scripted play in front of them and it's boring. You've had viral moments with her where you actually saw like a different, she, she was upset, but you saw a different side of her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Remember that time? It was right before was my on, wedding. Uh, yeah, it was on uh, the TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, my on the Comedy Central show. And she was like, Charlamagne, yeah. we're not doing this right now. Absolutely. Or something like something, that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So who's the real president of this country? Is it Joe Manchin or Joe Biden, Madam Vice President? Come on, Charlamagne. I really, Come on, I, it's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell no, no, sometimes. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do it's you, Joe Biden. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe and, it's Joe and it's Joe Biden, and I'm vice president, and my name is Kamala Harris. And it was it was a real moment. Contentious but civil. There we go. Yeah. So to me, I'm like, that's that's what she needs 100%. That's what... Did Trump say anything about Charlamagne? Did he come in here? Why the fuck would he say something about me? <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't say anything about Charlotte. He didn't say anything about I, Charlotte. I mean... Do rallies really make a difference? Because I feel like... Yes. It's only the people f that are already your supporters going to a rally. I don't think people in the middle or undecided people are really showing no, up to a rally. No, that's not true. You think I learned so? that at the oh. DNC. At the DNC, it was so many Trump people there, or MAGA people there, or undecided people there. Like I, I, I don't. I've never been to a RNC convention, so I can't speak to it. But at the DNC, there were literally people from the other side. I had people coming up to me, saying, "Hey, man." I'm a Trump supporter. I, I, I fuck with you heavy. I don't want you to think I'm a racist. I'm like, I don't think you're a racist. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And I remember even asking one of the dudes, like, why are you here? Yeah. And he was like, why not? He was like, I'm, I'm looking. He said, these people are running for president of the United like, States of America. It's so crazy that we He was like, yo, he was like, I'm a Republican, right? And I'm probably going to vote for Trump, but why wouldn't I come to see yo, what the other side is, is talking is about? It's not a sports team. No. Where, like, you're a Giants fan and you would never go to a Jets game. It is the president of the United States. of America. Like, you got to go see what they're talking about. You got to go see what the people there yeah. care about, right? You got to understand the messaging and not how it's framed through your side's lens, but actually how they're saying it. But unfortunately, sometimes the leaders of your side has rhetoric where it makes it seem like a sports team. Like, this person's evil, this person's the yeah. devil, this person's gonna end everything. So yeah. it's like, the most, if you make the, it seem that way, people are gonna treat it that way. Yeah, You're not wrong. One of the things that I look at with Trump that I, I feel like we all should adopt in some way, shape, or form, it's like nobody gives a fuck about any of the wild shit he said. Nobody cares about the wild shit that surrounds him. People don't give a fuck about the criminal charges. They don't care about the convictions. They don't care that he led an insurrection. They don't give a fuck. Because he's not apologizing for it. Because he's not. Not only is he not apologizing for it, he acts like it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> the charges are fake. I didn't leave an attempt to coup in his country. What the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> Man. Yeah, no. I <laughs> know. Yeah, take note. Man. Yep. Take note. <laughs> you out here copping pleas Man. and apologizing for interviewing for somebody, people Man. start going, maybe they should apologize. <laughs> but if you Man. go out there and have a good time and have some fun, then people go, this is a really fun interview. What a crazy concept. You can frame how everything that people right. digest. It, it's actually, yeah, it would, which actually... To, to that point, I'm the I, prince of pissing people off. The ruler rubbing you the wrong way, but I yeah. will. And what happens when you get pissed off? Instead of being like, fuck this guy, you be like, damn, he got me. He's the prince of this shit. Mm. You've been doing this shit for decades. To this day. Like right now, right? But that's my point with Democrats. We're brilliant idiots. You get upset at anything on this podcast, you didn't look ass. at the title. You didn't look at the fucking title. You didn't look at the title, <laughs> Who the did fuck you? told you to take us serious? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <All right>. You <laughs> crazy right? to take like, us serious. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then we might say some shit. You're like, oh shit, I agree with that. And that okay? was gay. And it was <laughs> 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 But that's what I want Democrats to do. I want Democrats to take that page out of Trump's book. Do that. Stop giving a fuck. Do that. Yo, Oh, they give a fuck too <laughs> They are scared. That's, that, that's really what it is. I also understand all those people that are working and they're part of this campaign and they see it going, they see that transition from Biden to Kamala going so well, they're also worried about their jobs, right? They're also worried about their opportunities. They're like, oh my God, we got it, we got it, we got it. You're different. You could be on top of the world and you still want to destroy shit. Mm -hmm. You got some joker in you. Ooh. 
You? <laughs> what you mean? You know what I mean? I like that, no, I, I, that I, I, laugh I, is exactly I, I, chaos. I, I like organized confusion. Get what? Well, that's the joke. <laughs> <That's laughs> no, I don't like. I like organized. I'm gonna throw some shit. I like. I'm throw some shit. I like organized. Confusion. The Joker stole all their money just to light it on fire. You, you see that little motherfucker over there? You see that little op over there? Yeah. She's the same way. Oh, yeah. She know what gonna make Unc laugh. And she <laughs> knows <laughs> when to come get Unc because there's some good shit going well, on well, that well. Unc need to be well, a well, part well, of. Well, okay? well, 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 well. Right? Tell me what happened. She did that shit to me yesterday. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? With Eli. Well, what happened? Eli's a diehard Drake stand. Okay. I've never seen anything like it. He looks like, like if Drake was a gremlin that got wet, Eli popped off. <laughs> Light skin, the hair, all of that shit. Yeah. Right. Everything he owned, all nothing but OVO merchandise, every all day. that shit. Yeah. Every his day. birthday. Isn't it his birthday OVO in October? Every day. Oh his birthday no, not... he's a cancer oh, like you. Cancer. <laughs> well, for whatever reason, he's been wearing number OVO all day, all, it's October. all year long. Yeah. I mean, all week, all month long. Yeah. Because it's October, right? Yeah. Oh my so, God. No, it's bad. Taylor comes in the room and goes, Taylor goes, this motherfucker, Eli, thinks that Kendrick um, really lost the battle. So Eli is outside of the room trying to convince Taylor him that why that Kendrick really lost and he's gonna do a vlog about it or some shit. Yes. I'm gonna do a vlog about why Kendrick <laughs> lost, right? I'm just sitting there minding my business and I'm like, all right, let's go fuck with Eli Taylor. <laughs> 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 like, you know what I'm saying? So I pull I up this picture. Minutes. I pull up this picture of Drake. Let me see if I can find this shit. Some of the hundred. Yes, I pull up a video of Drake. What is it? I'll and he's Google. with all his guys. It's like 300 OVO members, right? It's recent. You didn't see the picture I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So I go up to Eli and I go, you see this picture? I said, this is Drake. Look at that. This is what I said, this is Drake. 300 deep with the OVO members. That's what academics said. Drake was 300 deep with the OVO members. I said, he's with 300 people and not one of them told him not to put out the hard part six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not one of them <laughs> told him not to put out the hard part six. The way Eli looked at me, it was with just. And then you walk away? Walk away. I know it. 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 Don't say for the reaction. It's He's really the bad. Joker walking out the hospital with the little bomb thing. You just, huh, huh, huh. I like a little, there's a little organized confusion. That's all. But moral of the story is, what what you about to say, Alex? I know, just, what you say, you is want this? No, what is this? <laughs> Why is he doing this? Because he's Bro, boy, Drake going, No, 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 no. Drake, Drake going through it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, right. like, I, 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 I well, knew. Here. I, in, play the, yeah, play to me myself. This is crazy. Play it, Taylor. Play what you mean. Play it. Do we got to wrap up anything with Trump or stuff? We're going to be in and out of this. Okay, the cool. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing about nostalgia. One thing about nostalgia, this party here. My real friends are definitely in the building. But I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna come to a point in life where people you thought were friends or people you thought were close to you, they might switch up, they might try and move funny with you, they might stab you in the back, they might do a lot of things to you. You'll come to that realization, wherever you're at in life, you've probably been there and you'll be there again, that's how life is. But look, sometimes it's you and you alone by yourself. Sometimes it's you alone with your thoughts. Sometimes you, you know what? Play, play the song. Go ahead. I'm a lady in the building. <laughs> so <laughs> that shit is, bro. Yeah. I okay. Listen. Salute to Kendrick Lamar. I knew strategy wise and song wise, he busted Drake's ass. He was just more strategic than Drake. He had better music. He he, he did right. I didn't know he heard Drake like this, bro. I didn't know. I didn't know he had this type of effect on Drake. It's not like his voice changed too, right? Oh. Uh, I mean, what was that? <laughs> I've never had that conversation and gone into Beyonce, me, myself, and I. When you talk some shit like that, you got to play like your song, No exactly. New Friends, or yeah. going into some shit like, fuck y'all niggas, something like, yo, drop that shit. And he said, yo, 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 drop that shit, yo. I'm a lady. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Aubrey? <laughs> Top five just came home. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck was that? 
Top five just Top came five home. Top five just came <laughs> home. <laughs> what the Turn fuck? off the Beyonce. What was that? Why? Why, bro? Why? So I, I don't know if that with the video with him and all of the guys in the OVO hoodies came before or after this, but man, Drake going through it, bro. Right. I, and I, I go back to what I said. Drake just need to take a break. Take a year off, bro. Wow, a year off. Take a, yes, he, he'd have been halfway there already. Yeah. <laughs> he could have started this summer. Time served. Yes, yeah. he'd have been back next summer. That's all he needed. Go to Turks and Caicos. You got plenty of money. Live your life. Go live for a second. Go live. Mm. Come back next summer. You know what I'm saying? With an introspective album. You could have told us this on the album. You could have did No New Friends Part 2 and went through the whole list about all of these people you thought was your people, but they're not your people no more. Mm. Like, this was, mm. this is, this is, man. But he hasn't not been the guy in a really long time. And yeah. I don't think, he don't know how to not be the guy. What did we just say about Trump? The only reason we f know Drake's not the guy no more is because of shit like this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You just never, act like you never lost. Act like you never lost. He's acting like he lost. Like, you you first post thing some pictures of Solange in the elevator? Yeah. yeah, first thing Trump did after the debate with Kamala, which we all thought he lost, was like, great debate, best debate I've ever had in my head. In my, Everybody career. saying I won. Everybody <laughs> saying I won. <laughs> and then you start watching like, damn, you won that one? Like, <laughs> Listen, it Drake, will warp your yeah. perspective. Drake's fans are so delusional. And they, they, they're not, they love him so much. He's got a cult-like following. Mm. He probably sold out of those OVO hoodies in seconds, right? They're not giving up on him. Act like your fans. Mm. I won the battle. Mm. And you know, and, and he's got the perfect out to say why, right? Even though we all know he lost. He never engaged with Kendrick one-on-one -on -one except for the hard part six. Push-ups was more than one person. Okay. The Taylor made freestyle was him telling Kendrick, come on, yo, come with it, come with it, come with it. Uh, family matters. He talks about a bunch of different rappers. Hard part six is the one where he really just Talk to Kendrick directly. So all you got to do is say, yo, I'll beat 20 people by myself. Like, own it. Don't even say you... Matter of fact, you don't even got to lie. What did Trump say? I basically tell the truth. I basically tell the truth. You don't even got to say you beat Kendrick. All you got to do is be like, yo, I took on 20 people by myself. Yeah. And came out unscathed. But That's what that Trump gonna, said about the debate. Why three do you on think one? that's going to... I took out 20 people by myself and came out unscathed. Mm -hmm. Even but, though he came out very scathed. But why do you think that's going to do anything? This is still going to come at him. You say what? They're still going to come at him. He can say that, and people are still going to come at him. Yeah, but then he still has a group of people that believe he exactly. did Exactly. Like, he's got one of the biggest armies in the world. Yes. His supporters are going to rally behind him. They still it's... are, though. So that's what I'm saying. What does it matter? But he should be in line with them. The narrative. Yeah, exactly. Like, they probably feel like they're doing the heavy lifting. Grand with a chat nigga can't even do nothing to defend this shit. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Andy, <laughs> Grandy, Grandy, Grandy with the Charlotte shout out of brilliant idiots. Have Axe said anything Historic. about this? Historic. <laughs> Follow Grand Davius because he got shut down. Follow Grand Davius on Instagram. Have Axe said anything about this? I don't know. I don't know. Um, like, there's nothing you can do to defend this. Yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? No, you're right. Axe probably poured out some Henny. And Axe ain't pouring out no Henny. Okay? Axe <laughs> probably poured out some Henny for Drake after he saw that Yo, video. You know what's interesting timing wise? This is This is interesting. He finished the tour, and then the beef started. Yeah. So now he could do a show anywhere and sell it out, but it's a little different when you can go do shows every weekend. Like if, if you're someone's talking shit and it looks like it's over for you, but then you go do sold out shows and have the craziest thing ever, and people come out, uh -huh. you completely dispel the narrative. But the tour was over. Yeah, man. It's there's nothing for him to pop out to to show that people are going crazy. That's true. Wow. So. It looked he like sitting at he's home. sitting at home. Yeah. Oof. Me, Stir myself, crazy. and I. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine sitting alone at home when I'm alone in my room. Sometimes I stare <laughs> at the wall. And in the back of my mind, you hear me, myself, and I by Beyonce? Yeah. As a man? Nah, Drake, we need to nah, we need yeah. Drake to puff his chest yeah. a little bit. Hey, I need confident Drake back, bro. Yeah, I, know. I need confident Drake. Moving like a fragile maggot. <laughs> <laughs> Drake. <laughs> oh, like he is, man. Drake, now we need confident oh. arrogance on top of the world, Drake back ASAP. You know what I do think though? I think, and I still maintain that Drake has not given us a real record yet. Cause he's put, he's throwing some he's throwing some things out there, but it's not a bang bang. Yeah, bang, he, I don't shut I don't feel down. like he's giving us a Drake Drake record yet, mm. and that is going to be really the true test. If he gives us a real Drake record and it goes off, then everything's fine. Mm. If it doesn't, 
I think it's gonna be different I mean, now. He's, tried, he's tried a couple times. If he would yeah. just wait till next summer, yeah. go away. Don't drop in February. It's Black History Month. Kendrick got that on lock. Kendrick, go <laughs> by the way, Kendrick gonna have Black History. Let's talk. Can we talk about how Kendrick Lamar is gonna have Black History Month on lock? Let me tell you how it's gonna go down. February comes Grammys. Kendrick Lamar is gonna win a Grammy for Euphoria. Oh boy. And he's gonna win Grammys for Not Like Us. Oh boy. Lock it down. It's happening. Oh boy. Don't even worry about it. Then the very next week, he's gonna come back and do the Super Bowl. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. I got a little good authority. <laughs> oh boy. I got a little good authority. The word pedophile is not going to be banned in the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm lying. I don't have no fucking <laughs> Oh, I should have just let it You know people just say that stupid shit on the podcast. We used, to be, we used, to, be we used to be a country. 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 They don't run with it anyway. Charlamagne said he got it on good authority. What? That the word pedophile will not be banned in the Super Bowl. We How used to be a motherfucking country, <laughs> Who would know that? bro. <laughs> we we used to be a country. Hey, if Jan Jackson could show her titty, Kendrick should be able to say... <laughs> pedophile at the Super Bowl. Shut up. You know what I mean? All I'm saying he is... He should bring out Janet Jackson, though. Why? Why? Um, oh, that'd be dope for poetic justice? Yeah, just because she was so banned from it and Justin Timberlake That's got... That's actually a good idea, Stop, fuck him up. That's a good idea. Yeah, Her, she, she come should. out and do poetic justice? Yeah, that'd be dope. But didn't... didn't uh... You gotta reach for the titty, though. Stop! Nah, nah, you gotta reach for it. What is wrong with you? Gotta you gotta reach for it. Act like you're about to do it. Act, oh, act like, oh, I thought act he was like short. I thought he was <laughs> No, no <laughs> man. No. <laughs> act like you about to scare America and reach for it. And then you're like, ha, ha. <laughs> You don't think so? No. Nah, no, nah, that would be funny. Be... No, I don't think so. Like, act like you're going to pretend to pull it off. Yeah, act like you're going to pretend to pull it off? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Jokes. You... America loves jokes. <gasps> oh, what if he reaches for Janet's shirt when she comes out to do poetic justice? And a dick falls out. Dad, <laughs> 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 fuck him up. <laughs> cluck, 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 cluck. He rips the shirt off. Uh. Psst. And it says, I, I see, see dead, dead people. Oh, 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 oh my Drake, God! Drake can't come back out to the fall after. God, God. Drake, another you, year off. Another year. Take another year You can't off. come back in the summer. You got to wait till October. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Damn, oh, my man. goodness. I fun. see dead people. Let's, um, That'll be fine. Let's pay some bills on. and then mm. come back and talk about Ray J taking ass. No. <laughs> He's so funny, yo. All right, guys, let's take a break for a second. Thanks again to Squarespace for supporting this week's episode. Uh, Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online, whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand. Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. If you have a business, you need a website for it, okay? Nobody's trusting your business if you don't have a place online that they can go look at it. And you can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layouts and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every single device. Easily launch your website and get discovered with the fast, integrated, optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. With Fluid Engine, the next generation website editor from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Choose your website starting point and customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile stretch your imagination online with fluid engine included in any new squarespace site head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to www.squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain that is squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain let's get back to the show we got church announcement show today yes um Yes, this weekend, the Life Tour, Minneapolis and Milwaukee. Um, well, I'll see you guys out there. These are the last shows, the Life Tour. Uh, announcement very soon about uh, the special, where we're filming that, when we're filming that, where that is going. Very excited to share that with you guys. Uh, and then we've added a bunch of other shows that you can go check out. We're going to Salt Lake City. We added another show. Uh, we added a third show in Denver. We added a second show in San Jose. We added a second show in Reno. Um, we're coming out there to Portland. We're coming, we're closing the tour up in Hawaii. There's a few other cities I'm probably forgetting, but go out right now, theatershows.com. Grab those tickets while they're still there. And uh, those are the last chances to see the live tour. Uh, my church announcements, all the smoke 
Coffee Table Book is available now. Let's go. Be a Black Privilege Publishing, Let's Simon & Schuster, my guys, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. If you're a fan of the All the Smoke podcast, which many of you are, you can listen to that on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. This Coffee Table Book just has some of their most amazing interviews all in uh, one place. Alan Iverson, Don Staley, uh, Lil Wayne, Kevin Hart, Magic Johnson. Uh, the last interview that Kobe Bryant ever did, he did with All the Smoke. All of that is in wow. the book. The beautiful thing about the book is it's not just pictures, you know, from the interviews <clears throat> and, you know, transcripts from the interviews, not the whole interview, but parts of it. You really get to see what Matt and Steven thought about uh, these guests. So make sure you go get that wherever books are sold. Uh, the Mental Wealth Expo, my fourth annual Mental Wealth Expo is happening this Saturday, October 12th at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square, New York from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, Dr. Alfie Breland Noble, Dr. Cheyenne Bryan, my man Shaka Sinkor, Dr. Rita Walker, Dr. Jay Barnett, um, so many great therapists and psychiatrists and, you know, just a lot of the best in the mental health profession will be there. Go to mentalwealthexpo.com for more information. It is a free event open to all ages everybody pull up 11 a.m to 4 p.m if you've been there the last three years you know how we do mental health expo a day of mental health and healing education and honor a world mental health day and i will be at comic con next saturday y'all i will be at comic con you know i got a graphic novel coming out called Illuminati, which tells the secrets of the black Illuminati may or may not be based on a true story. Whoa. Friday, October 18th, 3.45 p.m. in room uh, 1C03. Yes, 1C03 at the Javits Center. My man Rob Markman is narrating that conversation with Axel Alonzo and Dennis Cohen. I'll be there Friday, October 18th, 3.45 p.m. room 1C03. Comic-Con! October 18th. Let's get back to the show. Ray J has launched a television network, y'all. I saw this. Let's listen to Ray J do some reporting, Taylor Gang. Do you forgive somebody for taking somebody's ass? There's a lot of people out here taking from people. Not only, like, like people, are, people are getting robbed of not only their money and their spirituality. They're getting robbed of their womanhood and manhood. Asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. Do you chuckle? <laughs> Do you laugh? Do you help? Do you criticize? Because I see a lot of jokes out there right now talking about baby oil. Everybody got a joke about having baby oil on lube. Is that okay? I think Ray J is raising some very valid questions. We here on the Brilliant Idiots podcast for years have told y'all how nobody gives a fuck about man's butts. That's true. Nobody gives a fuck about booties yeah. being burglarized. That's fact. Nobody they gives don't. a fuck they don't. when young people, young men, yeah. grown men are out here being sodomized. Yeah. Nobody ever even wants to have the conversation. Ray J asked a valid question. Willie you do. Ray Nolan Jr. asked a valid question. Asses are being taken. Hmm. Do you laugh? Do you chuckle? Do you chuckle? Do you criticize? Do you fucking criticize? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Look at you, Alex. You think it's funny. I do. Somebody just said, oh, man, butt fuck. Well, watch this. Butt fuck. <laughs> Why? Nothing, Why does that elicit giggles? Nothing funny about that at all. <laughs> nothing, funny. nothing funny about that. At all. <laughs> I'm not Why? laughing. Y'all are laughing. Why are y'all laughing? Why y'all laughing? I'm laughing. Yeah, butt fuck, just, man. just, just. All you gotta do is see him. He got butt fucked. <laughs> Why, why is that funny? That <laughs> why is that funny to y'all? <laughs> why is a man getting dick in his ass hilarious to y'all? Yeah. Why is it just men? Women probably were getting. No, see, fun. we're not. There he's talking about there male asses being taken. There you go. Okay. Making about y'all. A woman get fucked in the ass. Don't nobody call her funny. <laughs> <laughs> a man get fucked in the ass. He gets called funny. Yeah, and a whole host called. of other slurs. A lot of fraggle maggot. You know what I'm saying? It then gets laughed at. <laughs> you know what I mean? It what is the true. Fuck, yo? It is it's, true. It's a little funny because Whoa. a man can fight back. He can stop it. It's not funny with women because they're How can weak. he stop it when he's they're under the influence? sometimes weaker and don't have the power to stop it. He's under the influence, yes. Al. Why, why, why can't nah. these men be getting taken okay. advantage of the same way the women are? I don't care how much... <laughs> you give me, I'm fighting. It's baby oil. Your ass is all nah, I, I don't believe slippery. that, Alex. I don't. I don't I'm fighting it up. Sorry, Alex. I don't think you should put this out there in the atmosphere because there's somebody that's gonna try. You. 
They're gonna, they gonna say, so if they I beat you up, I can take it? They're gonna say that. Nope. They're gonna say, so if I beat you up, I can take it. ball is crazy. Right. Oh, let's fight for your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> can I play you for your ass? Yeah. Love it, booty ball is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. But it's What's not you? funny. <laughs> but it's not funny. <laughs> hey, he laughing at you hard right it's now. Not, it's not funny. No, yeah. that's not what, but, but getting butt fucked is okay, not funny. Okay, go, go. Tell me, ask me the question. Loving booty ball is funny. Ask me the question. Because if Allen's had to play somebody one on one for his butt. Yo, you gotta play someone butt. one. You gotta play a WNBA player one on one for your no, butt. No, no, not WNBA. No, I didn't say that's who fucks it. That's who you gotta play. Oh, so he, if he beats, ooh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we got a new event for WNBA All Star Weekend. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Okay. This is good. So a guy. Right. Everybody talking all that shit. Talking all that all shit. All those sexist right. guys talking Ooh. about how they could beat WNBA players. All the sexist, misogynistic, never. chauvinistic men got to play chauvinist. one WNBA player. For your ass. If the WNBA player wins, she gets to pick the guy that claps your cheeks. All right. <laughs> Oil Damn. up your ankles, let your Tim's tap out. Woo! Come on! Woo! <laughs> good, good thing that's not me, so I would never have to no, play. But, but Schultz, who, who you who would you against? have to play? Would you who lose you on purpose, against? though? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> would you throw the game? He's selling out on finger rolls. Nah. He's, he's nah. chucking for the half court. We're all watching Alex like, yo. Nah. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. I'm Alex with a shot. Hey, hey yo. <laughs> pause, Al, pause. This is for your ass. Son. Alex, this is for your ass. That's, we can do this. Get Johnson & Johnson to sponsor it. That's so hard because you can't foul because now it's like you putting your hand on a woman. First of all. Because if it's nah, a dude, nah, and, no. they're competitive. If you're playing, they're a, competitive. If you're playing a young lady one-on-one -on -one yeah. and the, and you lose and she gets to pick the man that claps your cheeks, yeah. you better post her up like you ain't never posted her up before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, absolutely. you better be doing flavoring fouls. No, she getting matumboed. <laughs> Yo, what she getting but we can't do that. Well, I'm you posting that. her up, though, right? You posting her up and she's like, yeah, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, get ready. Yeah, this what is a, yo, playing for your ass is crazy, yeah, but is crazy. I like the idea. And I think I that we would turn tune in to that tournament. I uh, do. Play for your ass. It's unbelievable. Who are you playing for your ass, Al, if you could choose one girl? Angel Reese? Oh, you getting you definitely getting fucked. Angel washing you. They have to be in the NBA. They I mean, gotta WNBA. be in WNBA. The, 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 the women's college players are washing you. Nah, you gotta play for your ass. You're crazy. Like a freshman who that Name like last on the bench or something like nah, that. Nah, you gotta play for your ass. <laughs> I'm being though. Al, you gotta play for nah. your ass. A point guard? I'll take a point guard. She's who's in your ass. He's too fast. He's too quick. Jump shot too sharp. Ah, but they can't get around me. I'm big body. Alex trying to lose. He just playing it off. He's <laughs> <laughs> he trying to lose. He's like, yeah, give me a point guard. Like, nah, let us pick the player then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he goes, he goes. He goes down by six early. He's looking at the stands like, God, they're so good. Like, oh. <laughs> but back to the seriousness of what Ray J was saying. Yeah, yeah, Ray back J, to the seriousness. Guys. You are absolutely on point, Ray. Nah, he's right. Asses are being taken. They're being taken. Male it's asses are being taken. It's All really, y'all want to do is make baby oil jokes. It's, jokes. And it's, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting what's happening in the music industry. He's 100% right. What is Ray J's News Network? I'm going to start tuning in because it's speaking to what I really care about. I'm subscribing. I have no reason not to subscribe to Ray J's uh, 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 News Network. Neither do I. What is this? Speaking of oh, this was crazy. Young Miami... Fan tapes young Miami reaction after he said he handed her a bottle of baby oil to sign. This is what the fuck Ray J's talking about. This is what Ray J's talking about. Yo, Americans, we're the best. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please. Go ahead, bro. I love you. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. That's crazy. No. Go ahead. You know when I saw this video, I thought, I thought two, I thought two things. I was like, number one, got people like this are playing a dangerous game, because what if she got a different type of security guard that just slaps the shit out of him? Right? That's number one. That's true. Number two, we cannot allow, and I really, really, really mean this. I want everybody out here listening to me to really understand what I'm about to say. We cannot allow people to demonize baby oil. <laughs> we cannot. Bro. Baby oil has been bringing people too much joy, Schultz. Bro. I know you got baby oil in the house because you got a brand new baby. I got a baby. You know what I'm saying? I can't even go to the store to buy baby oil because they're thinking about baby. some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> My baby not oiled down. 
My baby's not oiled down because Diddy done ruined baby oil for all the fuck I'm saying? The new How does your wife feel about this, bro? She's probably furious. She can't go get baby oil. You know what I'm saying? You look crazy going to get baby oil. And you feel crazy. As soon as you walk in the room and you see baby oil, you're like, oh, shit. I got to send a homeless guy to go get me my baby oil. I'm God so embarrassed. Damn. I go, can you get me at least a liter of baby oil? God damn. I'm, I'm paying <laughs> homeless. I'm paying the homeless. Don't. Let can I get a liter of baby oil? baby oil? I have a question though. Why did he just use lube though? Like I'm surprised. He had that too. Nobody's talking about the lube. It was a combination. It wasn't a thousand wow. bottles of just baby oil. It was baby oil and lube. Oh, uh-huh. so I just... <laughs> one for the pink, one he... for the stink. <laughs> <laughs> one for the pink he... and one. He for prefers the, stink. the feeling of baby oil. Clearly, like he that's his type. That's he his. Was, nah. Just like lube, probably. I think he likes that body's glistening. And then he used the lube for. Uh, how you know that, yo? I think. Why? Uh, you, why? Why is your brain? Even he he likes shiny things. He wants to lube that game so bad. You know? <laughs> no, he likes shiny <laughs> things. The suits. He likes shiny up. shit. You want to get oiled up, Al? He Man, get he's locked up, up already. So. Uh, <laughs> Al, <laughs> get oiled. Yeah. We didn't see. We didn't see. You either got lean in or you got run away. Your ankles let your Tim's tap. We need to see you get oiled up. Ow. So you guys are crazy. Yo, we got to see Ow. Al get... Come on, Al. So this is crazy. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Ow. And on Halloween, you think going to be a lot of people oiled up on Halloween? No, it's just going to be Al looking like a Ducati. A <laughs> <laughs> guy back there talking about, I'm going to make you say your name. No. And every time he hit him, I was really going, ow! Ow! Every time I was saying, ow! <laughs> ow! Damn, man. Ow! Yo, what's better? Being able to take dick or it hurting? Son, come yeah, on, son. son. That's a good come question. On, son. Yo, what is better in that moment? Being able to take it or it hurting? Bottomless booty is like boneless Damn, wings. which one? <laughs> <laughs> bottomless booty is like boneless wings, Yo, the bone is where the flavor comes from. The bone is where the flavor comes from. <laughs> Nobody want bottomless booty, no, man. Your flavorless ass. Yeah, man. I need. I need to know when to stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to know I when to stop. I need a guardrail. You can't uh-huh. have a bottomless booty. You know what I'm saying? So you just taking that shit. You a top down? No, 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 no. I'm just, you know. <laughs> I'm just out here podding, man. Yo, we, we, yo, the we fuck just alone, out here podding. That's bro. all, bro. We podding, bro. He, know, he needs to know. He needs to know when to stop, and it's not the sound of his balls hitting yours. Yo, yo, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This shit Jingle right balls is this, crazy. This shit right oh here. My God. That can't be the sound. I can't, that can't be the sound. I didn't even realize that happened. Oh, that oh, it was 30 seconds of room tone. I don't want to hear this shit. Listen to his shit sound. What the hell? <laughs> yo, yo, nuts on nuts is crazy damn, talk. Damn you, Ray J. That's insane. Damn bro. you, Ray J, for inspiring this segment on a brilliant idiot. Testicle to testicle is yo, crazy. T- testicle to testicle is nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yo, stop letting us interview presidents. Stop letting us interview people running for press. Stop. What are you thinking? Oh. What are you thinking? You oh. think we would take anything serious? <laughs> oh, my God. You think we would take anything serious. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. What else we got, Taylor? <laughs> Come <laughs> on, Taylor. We are journalists. We are journalists. We are journalists <laughs> asking the hard-hitting questions. Yo, so where do we go studs. from here? So Yo, this is my studs, man. Hey, 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 hey. I love studs. I love studs. I love studs. I love... Watch the stud twerk. Hey, she can't even help herself. No. Listen. One thing about being a stud is when the right song come on, you're going to remember you a woman and you're going to start twerking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. They can't Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Duval's the best. <laughs> what is that? Hey man, these bulldog is out of control. Shout out to Stud Life, man. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Stud Life, okay? All right, now question. When they go to the club, the studs, are they looking for feminine lesbians as well? Or is it just a bunch of, like, biker gangs? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what is... Studs the... are usually looking for the lipstick girls. But, 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 so the lipsticks know where to meet them? How do they make sure the... Like, you know how, like, in a club, like, you gotta show up... If you're a dude, you gotta show up with, like, two girls to get in. Do you? 
Yeah. Oh my In God, these women are so privileged. <laughs> you, think if, you think if they get patted down and they got their scrap on with it, scrap on the security takes it? No, nah, they, they gotta take it. But they make it check it. They got like a coat check. They, <laughs> oh, they got the cock oh check at the, at the stuff club. You get your scrap on back, you get your dildo back get, when you leave the club. You get a little ticket. <laughs> you little yeah, 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 yeah. Get your dildo back when you leave the club. Why they all look like gunna variants? They are very gunna. They all look like different variants of gunna. <laughs> <laughs> they got to pull that song on. They, like, look, they when, look like the multiverse of Gunner, yo. Don't they, the, don't they look like the multiverse bro, of Gunner? No, when they dope. get a straight girl back to the crib and then she takes off the pants and just sees a vagina, then you hit that Gunner. Fuck you, me. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got, Taylor? Go to Bronny and LeBron, man. Oh, what a beautiful moment. What a beautiful moment. Loved it. Um... Loved it, man. I mean, listen, here's the thing. I think that it is an amazing, amazing thing that LeBron James has the power to be able to get Bronny James uh, a job that, that for the next four years is going to pay him $7 million. Bronny James is an NBA player. Nobody can ever take that away from him. LeBron accomplished his dream. LeBron James said, I want to play with my son. I think when we all first heard that, we was like, this guy's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But he's stuck around long enough to still be not only playing at a high level, yeah. to have his son on the team. The only thing I would say is Bronny James, bless you, nice. Bronny James Jr., is he ready for the NBA? What do you think? I didn't watch any of the game. Did he I, not score though, right? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I I and, and it's not I, I think you know. Maybe in the next couple of years he might grow into an elite player. He just still seems very little. He seems yeah. very little for the NBA. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like maybe he should have stayed in college. But who am I? I he, think it's clearly this is his destiny because he's he's he's, yeah. he's in the NBA. You know what I mean? Yeah. The I think the issue will be for Bronny. It's like can he develop a corner three, and can he develop his defense? Because the way that he'll help a team is by locking down yeah. guys. Yeah. I don't know if he has the offensive ability, but he can't be a he can't be a can't shoot a three and D guy. Yeah. It's got to be three and D. Mm. So if he can develop that three point shot where it's locked down, they can kick to him in a corner, and then he can lock down the point guard or the two guard, whoever's on that team, yeah. just be a what was the guy's name? Uh, Tony Allen was it? Tony Allen. Tony Allen, who played for was it a few Celtics? different times. There's Celtics, Spurs? but also like Memphis. I think he was on, Memphis? but like a lockdown yeah. fucking defender. Then maybe, but that's and the thing that happens is like if you look at a guy like um, Patrick Beverly, right? Mm -hmm. Patrick Beverly was dropping forty a game in high school. He was an offensive phenomenon in high school. Wow. Come to the NBA, we think of Pat Bev as a lockdown Just defender. Defense, yeah. yeah. The the smart guys that get to the league start to realize how they're going to have longevity in basketball and really lock in on where they're going to be able to contribute. Mm. There are guys that have ego that go, oh, no, I got to be the number one guy on the team. It's like, all right, well, you're going to lose. Oh, yeah. Or you could be Pat Bev and you can stay in the league forever, make a bunch of money. Does contribute. Bronny James Jr. have to be successful in order for this to still be a great story? No. No. Uh, that, that, I think that's the thing. I think, you know, there's a, I, I want to see him be successful mm -hmm. just because I know how people might use that against LeBron in the future. Can't, right? uh, can but I don't use, think you can even use it against him. The fact that listen. LeBron has put himself in a position where he has so much power that he can get Bronny James in the NBA. Bro, you name a successful dad that didn't put their kid in position. That's right. That's the point. That's what we're supposed to That's do. That's what we want. Yeah. The you... way that he can put his son in position is through the National Basketball Association. The way that Donald Trump's dad put him in position is through real estate. Yeah. Like, there's so many parents that do that for their kids. You are supposed to. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, like, I hate this idea, like, that nepotism is a bad thing. I can't wait to nep it. Like, <laughs> That's I, the whole it thing, is, It is an honor to be able to... To put your son in or daughter in a position to win. Absolutely. I, I don't have a problem with it. I just want to see Bronny James be successful. Um, well, uh, you know, when I'm looking at it in the preseason, I'm like, ah, you know, he he don't look like he should be in the NBA yet, but he so, is. Listen. And I got to salute it. There's a lot of bums in the NBA, yeah. A lot of bums in the NBA. So it's like, it, like, and also there's another thing that I think people don't really realize here. It's not... I think this is the problem, is you look at a sport and you're like, oh, this should be all merit-based, right? Yeah. 
and everybody here should be merit-based. By that argument, the pay should be merit-based. In other words, you get paid what you are bringing to that team, that franchise. Yeah. There is a salary cap in sports, right? And the idea is so you can keep the teams more or less even, so it's not like baseball, the Yankees can have a fucking billion-dollar roster, and then some other team is nothing. LeBron is severely underpaid. You can't you can't pay LeBron what he's worth. It, so you know what you can do? Yeah. There we go. Absolutely. Put his son on. Absolutely. So to me, it's like Absolutely. you have to find other ways Absolutely. to contribute to LeBron. You have to find other ways to contribute to uh, Giannis and to the Kumpo, mm -hmm. right? Like, I think his brother's on the team. LeBron's brother. No, that's true. LeBron's brother's on the team. I mean, yeah, LeBron in particular, you can't pay LeBron what he's worth. The, 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 the Warriors can't pay Steph what he's worth. You know what I mean? Like, these guys are, I, I don't even know what... If, if, Dan, can you imagine that? Can you imagine if you had to pay LeBron James or Steph Curry based off one, what they've accomplished, and two, what their skill level is. Not only that, like what they do for the economy. Like when he was in Cleveland, yeah. the local economy, the restaurants and bars That's around right. the games. That's right. You're talking about twenty thousand people at every single home game that are also going to go out to drink afterwards or going to get right. a meal. Like what he's actually worth, you could never pay him. And, and then you think you talking about the regular economy? What about the black market? Yo, Diddy's gone. Hookers in L.A. are going to need something to do that keeps them fucking going. That's the facts. fact that Bron and Bron are going to have these Laker games packed the fuck out. Hookers are going to get some. Male hookers still got something to do. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. These poor guys, these poor guys had nothing. Nothing. They had nothing for nothing, a long bro. stretch. Nothing. Nobody really considers them. Nobody thinks about them. You know why? Why? Because nobody cares about, about men. men. Nobody cares about men, especially, especially men in the sex industry. Fucked in their ass yeah. or fuck people in the ass. Yeah, it's really it's true. It's just what it is. It's really true. Ask bottoms how they feel, Taylor. Ask them. I don't know any bottoms. See what I'm saying? You don't even know them. You don't even see them. You, you don't even, even see them. I don't know. All They're my, not visible All my gay you. friends are top. How you know that? Oh, wait. No, he turned. I had a cousin that was a bottom. He turned top. Oh, you got gay in your family? <laughs> yeah. Did you see Trump in the Trump, Trump Brigades rally? Yeah. That's it wasn't even Trump Brigades. It, it wasn't? No, he was just at like Mar a Lago or some shit, and then somebody said, The Trump Brigades are here, and then he looks at him and he goes, You don't look gay. Thank you very much. Where is gays for Trump? You don't look gay. You see what I'm saying? Like, even if you say something that could be wrong, if it makes people laugh, it's immediately disarmed. Yeah. What does gay look like? I think we know. Do we? No. We just saw them bull daggers no. and then nobody Those questioned are studs, them. though. Studs ain't gay. They like what? pussy. No. That's yeah. Gay. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Nah, women. Wait, you just say they're gay because they like they're yeah, gay. Women, women can't be gay. <laughs> I like pussy too. Yeah, you just having common sense. It's not they gay common men common think sense. studs are gay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gay men think studs are gay. Yeah. Because gay men are like, oh, you like pussy? Ugh. That's gay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. To me, I see a stud that like pussy. I'm like, salute, my salute. G. 100%. What's happening? Uh huh. You see this, Taylor? Hate. Don't hate. Don't fucking hate. What happened? You see this? You see this? They ask. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Morris Chestnut's still out here getting, getting key, mistaken for your boy. Low key, you know Morris saying? Chestnut. Why are you saying it like that? You said what? Excuse me? Y'all saying his last name weird. First of all, first of all, look at it. Come yeah. on now. I only see Morris. Don't shit on him, okay? <laughs> Don't shit yeah. like a bottom. You see me. <laughs> you see me, okay? And you know what? It's Morris Chestnut that is continuing to promote this rumor. I've seen him on platforms talking about That's it. That's right. He's the one that brings it up. Because people are asking. No you know one. What, you know what's happening? You know, Sherry Shepard, I know what happened with you, Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard saw me post that video and she thought it was me. So she what said, video? You know what? what are you talking about? What do you mean? Oh, what you see Sherry Shepard? That's oh, you crazy. hating on purpose. I, That's I know, really I really Oh, you hating on purpose. I didn't wow. see Sherry Shepard. What are you talking about? Wow. Sherry Shepard had Morris Chestnut on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she played the video that I posted the other day when you called me the Lululemon. Yeah. At, of, of me at Comic Con. <laughs> and everybody thought it was Morris. And so she played the video and said, Charlemagne thinks he looks like you. And Mars had to set the record straight and said, well, I do get mistaken 
Wow. Damn. What's so funny uh, is, it, you know, there's a saying that just, uh, you know, women want you, Morris, and then men want to be you. Okay, so Charlemagne the guy <laughs> thinks that people are mistaking him for you. Uh, he <laughs> even, Charlemagne, he, Charlemagne the guy posted this video on, from CultureCon uh, on his Instagram pretending to be you. What do you think? Did, did Charlemagne said that was him? <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, I, w I, w I was at a valet at a hotel. And I'm, I'm telling you, and one, and one of the uh, one of and one of the valet guys said, "Hey, Charlemagne." So you know, really, it did happen. It okay, did happen. well, I don't believe it. And Charlemagne, if you don't stop wasting my time posting these, <laughs> that make you feel good, man. No, All right. why, why, okay. why? All right. I don't know why. Right. I really don't. Okay. Whatever. You can't steal yo, my yo. soul. You can't break my soul. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you so mad. Cause what you, am I mad about? What your mama say. You ever showed your mom? For what? She has a husband. I didn't say that. Just ask her if she think me and Mars Chest doesn't look alike. No, she doesn't. Call her right now. Okay. <laughs> call her. Okay, call I'll go ahead right call. now. Have that this picture first, though. <laughs> hold, on. Hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Send this picture first and say, do you think they fit? Say, Mom, what you think it is? Hold on. Because see, one thing about it, older women appreciate me. I'm 90. She's going to she gonna, she gonna play. She goes, yeah. no. No. She I'm, is. Listen, my, I know my mom. Listen, I promise I'm 90s rom-com fine. <laughs> Oh okay. My you know what a older, you know what a, a, a black woman told me recently? What's she that? said, Charlemagne, you are gonna have to run for office one day. I said, why? She said, because older black women love you. Mm. Okay? Because they appreciate now send in a picture before I you go. Did. Put on a speaker, put on a speaker so you can't game it. You probably already <laughs> sent the text and probably told her say no. No, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I just sent her a picture. You That's did. it. <laughs> you can't break my soul. Your mama don't answer for you, she don't love you. <laughs> If your mama don't answer don't for you, she don't love you. If your mom, your mama should have already answered. It's been yeah, four rings. Should, should we all call our so moms and say, "Hey, Miss Gwen, no, put, oh put my God. on speaker. Mom. Put on speaker. Hey, Miss Gwen, I am on. I'm recording the podcast. Hey, Miss Gwen, with Charlemagne and Andrew. Hello. Yeah, you're. You're on the podcast. Yeah. Um, so Charlemagne, say hi. Hey, Miss Gwen. Hi, Miss Gwen. Tell me, hello. Okay. Taylor sent you a picture. Look at so, the picture first, Miss Gwen. Like, can I touch no, my because you about to lead the jury. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you so lead I the sent jury. you a picture yeah. through your text. Do you think Charlemagne looks like Morris Chestnut? And you be the answer. Yes, you're on. <laughs> you're on the podcast. Look at the picture. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you're on the podcast. All right. Well, let me look at the. We gotta get out the kitchen, man. Wait a minute. Hello? Hello? She's in the kitchen. So we need bad cell reception. towers in Lower Marion. No, our kitchen has horrible reception for some reason. Hello? Is she making pot right now? Huh? Is she making pot? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, she's not. I don't know, actually. Dang. Oh, she just she hung, hung up, up on you. <laughs> You know what she's doing, probably. No, the call failed. She saw that picture. Stop. She saw that picture. Okay, mom. Gonna... <laughs> okay, so you got. Yo, I got to look for Taylor, and that shit stopped me about. What do you think, mom? Yo, that was a crazy look. Well, at first glance. I might say yes. That's it. That's all we need. That's all we need. Thank you, Miss Gwen. Thank you, Miss Gwen. Thank you, Miss Gwen. That's it. Mom. Thank you, Miss Gwen. Thank you, Miss Gwen. Thank you, Miss Gwen. That's it. Mom. Does it, we don't need any more explanation. We just got it. The jury has found. The jury has come to a decision. They have. Thank you, Miss Gwen. It is what it is. She Thank said you. at first glance, but and when she—that's what we talking she's about. Like, now. We talking now about. She like, oh my god, yeah. I, I, why did I never see this before? Exactly. First <laughs> glances look that's like. That's all this is. Do you look like someone? Yes. First glance. That's oh, all that matters. Gosh. Not twentieth first glance. Glance, but. If I keep looking at it, all right, mom. Oh. All right, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. You got some pie, right, Miss Gwen. Have a good day. Thank all you, right. Miss Gwen. We love you. Okay. Thank you, Miss Gwen. All right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Oh, I see where Taylor gets it. Okay. I see where Taylor gets okay. the hate. Okay. Taylor gets look, the hate from. Look, look. If you were walking down the street, I would not go. Oh, wasn't that Morris Chestnut? I would not. <laughs> Damn. 
Um, uh, you just bite his smile. I know where you get it from now, Taylor. That is, I know. Because, 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 because she could have stopped three minutes part ago. Part of the family. <laughs> she didn't have to keep doing it. She, but she loves she, it. She likes it. She loves it. it. That's all uh, that is. Hey, mom, they want to know That's where Taylor gets it. Yes. No. <laughs> what? Not yet. No. When can we put our orders in for oh, Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah, we need that <laughs> we pie. We got orders. Miss Gwen, Ms. Gwen <laughs> we need that pie. Season. I know. It's apple pie season. It's, it's sweet potato season. Mm. Um, But I'm not quite there yet. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, we'll be waiting on you when you're ready to get... I know you will. Oh, you <laughs> know I will. Oh, wow. Oh, I, wow. I, 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 I haven't forgotten y'all. Oh, yes, ma'am. My goodness. All right, bye, mom. Thank you. All right, did you show him my show him my potato? Mom. Yeah. Okay. Oh, please mom. show me your potato. Please. Please show me your potato. Man, I've been waiting to hear that all year long. I don't want to see Miss Gwen potato. Yeah. Where's Miss Gwen potato? Show me a potato, oh Taylor. Oh my God! Show me the potato. She sent you something to show me a new show. <laughs> that show is me crazy. Miss Gwen's that is potato crazy. right you now. Show me Miss Gwen's potato because I'm bricked up. <laughs> Do the blue chew ad right now. So I'm bricked up. I'm bricked up. This in episode in is brought you by the best oh boners gosh. in the business. Blue chew, okay? Blue chew. You got that hot potato you want to throw to somebody? Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need to take yes. that bluey. All right? You can get your first month free. Same active ingredients inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the chew. It's one that we rock with. It's one you're rocking with. You're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is use the promo code IDIOTS. Bluechew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS. $5 for shipping. That's it. Best dick you've ever delivered in mm. your life. You are welcome. Now, let's get back to the show. Let's do some asking idiots, Alex. I'm going to see a play, man. Oh, what you got? I'm going to see Hades, Hades Town on Broadway. Ooh. I'm going to watch Stephanie Mills in Hades Town. Uh, Stephen A. Smith got a girl. Stephen A. Smith got a girl? Yeah. Well, salute to Stephen A. Smith. He got a dick. He should have a girl. Why right, that right. news? Who's he claiming? <laughs> Who's he claiming? Um, hold on. I'm going to show you. This girl just said. Is it another 305? Right here. I don't know. Her name is Miss... Nikita Pearson. Do your thing, Stephen A. Do your thing. Let me see. Do your Put thing, lights. Stephen A. Do your thing. I fell in love hard, and so did he. I don't think you have to look long. And my page figure out that I can have a lot of problems. But get it. to Stephen A., man. Why do, well, God bless him. I'm happy for him, man. That look like um, the little sister from Fresh Prince. It does. Let me she see. Like Tadiyah Ali. I was thinking yeah. the same thing. Let me see. I was thinking the same thing. Let's, um... Yeah. Let's Shout do, out Stephen A, yeah, man. Yeah, shoot to Stephen A. Let's do some masking idiots. You don't want to talk about Charlotte it? Charlotte Comic-Con, are you dressing up? <sighs> um, No, because I'm on a panel. Well, you don't dress up no more. Oh, no, I got a fire Halloween outfit this oh, year. Yeah, you, oh, oh, yeah, I ordered that already. That shit's at the house. It's baby oil. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to fit in that motherfucker, though. <laughs> but I got a fire Halloween costume this year. Are we going to do a Halloween episode? Let's do it. Oh, we down. got to. We got to. Well, you got to start working on your fit. Yeah, I got to get my fit. What do we got, Taylor? Asking idiots. Uh, Kuda, woulda, shoulda. Wants to know, would you want to live forever? Very interesting question. Um... <sighs> Do you get progressively older? I think the longer we live, because of the era that we live in, the things that slow down the aging process, I believe that, I mean, if you look at us now, I'm 46 years old. 46 year olds didn't look like this when we were growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of 40 somethings who still look vibrant, you know? Um, so I think that the older we get and the more we know how to take care of our body. I mean, even the lifespan of humans, like there was a time the average lifespan was like 51. Yeah. Like, right? Like, and, and I'm speaking from my era. Like, like back then it was even shorter. People lived to be 30 something. Like, I wonder 30 if, something was considered old. I wonder if part of that is like infant mortality is is added into it. Talk to me. Like, I think there was a lot more uh, deaths during childbirth. Mm. So I think that that like brought the average down. 
Mm. Um, but I hear you definitely. We're, we're living longer and uh, we seem to be more healthy and we seem to be more active to later stages in our life. I just wouldn't want to continue to be be 300 years old. You're just a dried up little raisin. You can't do anything to experience. That's right. Like I still want to be able to experience life. If I could experience life like we're experiencing now, you get to live forever through that shit. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to be like a Cicely Tyson 90 something. Wow. I, I, I don't yeah, want to be a Jimmy yeah. Carter. I want to live to be 101, but I don't want to be Jimmy Carter. Yeah, you, yeah, you want to be cooking. You want to be doing yeah, shit. You want to be active. Man. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that shit, man. But you got to stay active. That's the thing. You got to stay active, man. And you just don't know. You might get old and get to that age where you like, you old and you kind of like, not incoherent, but you just there. Yeah. Kind of got your mouth open all day. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Meet yeah. the wrong motherfucker teabagging you and shit. Man. Huh? <laughs> My mom said this. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, the hate coming in heavy. Your now. mama said, Morris Chestnut has a bigger forehead. Also, in this picture, his his pose is more GQ. No shade to Charlotte, but he's more <laughs> giving a semi-Asian. Your mama crazy, yo. <laughs> it's Gwen crazy. That's what Taylor get that yeah. wild shit from. That's crazy. Nah, we got... That's crazy, yo. <laughs> gotta, gotta bleep. That's crazy. We gotta bleep. We gotta yeah. bleep. Yeah. One, one yeah. word that we gotta bleep. If you don't know what it is that needs to be bleeped, then you are due to get canceled. <laughs> Okay. Shout out to Chris Moreau. Shout out to uh, Chris. Chris going to bleep that anyway. Chris going to put the triple bleeps on that. Chris play that in his house. He's fucking... Somebody, everybody going to come around the corner. Like, You got to put a gong. Yeah. Don't bleep it with a bleep. Bleep that shit with a gong. So what do we want to live forever? I don't know, man. I saw Al Pacino recently say that he died and came back. And he said it was nothing there. What do you mean? Yeah, like he, he had said. a heart attack or some shit? I forgot what he. I forgot when he said he died. He said he died for a brief moment, and he said there was nothing there. It was just black, a void. Mm. But I've heard other people say they die, and there's like a light, and you know they know that they've gone someplace else. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know what I. If, I don't think I would want to live forever. My my goal is 101. Wow. I think 101 is um is fine. Okay. What else we got? Will's Treasure wants to know what the brilliant is. Ever do a guest appearance in the WWE ring? Take some bumps, run the ropes. Um, <laughs> Alice drug at it, yo. Alice is a drug no, at it. She laughed too. Alice is a she drug laughed at it, too. Yo. <laughs> he heard it take some bumps and he thought of cocaine. Not <laughs> he Taylor did too. Wait, are you a little cocaine? What? No, I'm strictly you weed. You fucking that powder? I'm strictly, strictly weed, man. Good. I thought you were about to say strictly dickly. I'm like, what the fuck? You out here sniffing cocktails? <laughs> Can you imagine that? A person is out here sniffing cocks? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what the fuck? How does Trump smell, by the way? No, um, no scent. No scent? No scent, yeah, yeah. Because everybody talks about he has an odor. No. I've heard that before. Cause remember they used to say he used to wear a diaper? No, not at all. No odor? Like, no not scent, cologne? clean, oh. slimmer than I thought. Really? Slimmer than I thought. I don't yeah. think he got shot. He oh, looked at his wow. ear. I looked really closely at his ear. I was sitting right next to it. It was a graze. You yeah, still, still have a mark. Something. Not You'd have really. Something. He had nothing have nothing on no, his ear. Nothing. It's no been scab. Months. No nothing. It's been months. Nah, we got, yeah. How are you gonna take away a headshot from somebody? That's crazy. It's been uh, months. Not even discoloration. Bro, like, it's been on. months. It's a bullet. It's been that many months, so. Yes, it is. It's been I feel like, like I saw him months. wear a, a package. <laughs> it's crazy. You was the one saying, oh, he just ricocheted, glass ricocheted. And I mean, now. that's what they said. They said it was the glass <laughs> that ricocheted. But I mean, either way, even if it was just the grains, you mean, what the fuck? Don't do him like that. That it is crazy. It seemed like he was just wearing a brand day for like two times, and then that was it. Yep. Yo. <laughs> y'all it's, it's, y'all disrespect everybody that's thick, yo. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all won't let Megan like 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 stop that. Like let people deal with their trauma the way they deal with their trauma. <laughs> Echo the narrator says if you could swap lives with any fictional character for a day, who would it be and what would you do first? Nah, I don't, I don't care for that question. Let's go to the next one. Isaac Mendez Torres. Just watched the Donald Trump interview. How did you set up that interview, Shotzi? Grand Wizard. Grand Wizard chat word I can't say. The most powerful person on what the internet. Mean? Huh? Grandy. You had he had to do research? No, Grandy is the plug for everything, bro. You didn't know Grandy? No. Grandy can set up anything. I'm telling you. Now, I mean it's Grandavious now. Go check it out. But I'm Grand you, Wizard set up the interview with Trump. Uh, Grandy is the uh, Oracle. He's the source. He connects Donald Trump all Jr. things. Burner account. Imagine if it was. Yo, that would be crazy. Yeah, imagine imagine as, ba as Baron. Account. That's Barron's account? Damn. I've been talking to the Trumps for a long time. 
<laughs> Damn, who knew? All right, smooth the grand with the chat. Uh, as always, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.